Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the crystal field splitting energy uh, of, a, uh, of a complex ion. So <clears throat> I have two examples. The first one is this example right here. So, <coughs> so this, exa uh, this ion uh, we're told is blue in aqueous solution. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what light is absorbed. So we know it is, uh, it is blue, it looks blue. So that must be the light that is being reflected for us to see the blue color. So that means that um, the other light, the opposite light must be uh, absorbed. And so since the um, complementary color of blue is orange, we've got to look up what the uh, orange range is. So if we look that up in our color wheel, so you should have uh, a color wheel available. <clears throat> so for us, according to the color wheel, uh, orange falls between the 650 and 580 nanometer range. So, <clears throat> so the range for orange is 650 nanometers to what did I say 580 so in between 580 580 nanometers and 650 so what we could do is we could take the average of those two and get the estimated uh, wavelength um, for orange light and so if we do that we get 615 so what we could do is we can use 615 nanometers as the average estimated wavelength of the light being absorbed by the crystal structure here or by the um, by the coordinating complex the complex um, cri um, I don't want to say crystal but um, yeah <clears throat> so the, the uh, coordinated um, I'm, I'm losing my words here uh, the uh, complex ion that's what I want to say the complex ion so what we're going to use is we're going to use the uh, equation that you are familiar with from when we're trying to find the energy of a photon or energy of light uh, we use H C over lambda right so H is Planck's constant 6 point uh, 626 times 10 to the negative 34 and we have uh, the speed of light and we have the wavelength that's where we're going to put the wavelength but we got to change that to meters um, before we do that so <clears throat> what we're going to do is let's see here so this here is going to be 615 nanometers over one we're going to convert this to meters uh, one nanometer is equal to 10 to the negative I believe nano negative 9 so negative 9 meters so nanometers cancels out so this becomes uh, 6 15 times 10 to the negative 9 meters or also let's see uh, 6.15 times 10 to the negative 7 meters so we're going to plug that into our equation and so this is going to be equal to delta and delta is the symbol or uh, for for the crystal the uh, crystal crystal field splitting energy that's what delta is so we put that in so e equals uh, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 and that's going to be um, <clears throat> joules per uh, let me remind myself yes joules joule seconds that's going to be joule seconds uh, multiplied by speed of light 3.0 times 10 to the 8 seconds uh, meters per second actually so that's going to be meters per second 
divided by 6.15 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. So seconds cancels out, meters cancels out, we're left with joules. So this is going to be equal to delta. So delta is equal to, if we calculate this out, uh, 3.23, 3.23 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, and that's joules per, uh, per ion. So joules for one ion, so per ion. And then what we want to do, since they're asking us for kilojoules per mole, we're going to convert that uh, to kilojoules per mole. So we're going to take this 3.23 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per one single ion. And then we're going to convert this to kilojoules. So 1,000 joules for every one kilojoule. Joules cancels out. So we got our kilojoules. We got one ion. So on top we have uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd ions uh, for every one mole of ion. So individual ions are going to cancel out. And then when we calculate this, we get 195. Five, a hundred and ninety-five kilojoules per mole. So that is the crystal field splitting energy for this complex ion. So that's the first example. I hope that made sense. Let's go ahead and go ahead and do this example next. Okay. So now we have this complex ion. We're told that it is look it looks it's yellow. So that means that yellow is being reflected. So that means we got to go to the opposite side of our color wheel, look at the complementary color of yellow to see what is absorbed. And then we're going to use that wavelength uh, to figure out the um, the uh, energy field, uh, I'm sorry, the crystal field splitting energy. Okay. So if we go, we go to our color wheel here, um, it says yellow. So the opposite of yellow is purple. And so that gives us 400 to 430 nanometer range. So the range of wavelength is, what did I say, 400 to 430? Yeah, 400 nanometers to 430 nanometers so we can split the difference take the average and that'll be 415 nanometers so we'll use that uh, wavelength to help us figure out what the uh, crystal field splitting energy is so once again the energy is equal to HC over lambda that's going to be equal to our crystal field splitting energy represented by this delta sign. Um, we're going to plug everything in. So we have 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds multiplied by 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by well, once again, <clears throat> this is going to be converted to meters. So it's going to be 4.15 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. We'll put that down here times 10 to the negative 7 meters. So joules, I'm sorry, uh, seconds cancels out, meters cancels out. We have joules left. So all we need to do is calculate that out. And so what we get is 4.789. So we get equals to, so delta is equal to 4.789. 4.789 times 10, 7, uh, 789 
times 10 to the negative 19 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per ion. Once again, they want us to convert that to kilojoules per mole. So we're going to, so we got ion on the bottom here. So joules over ions, multiply this by uh, 1,000 joules on the bottom, one kilojoule on top. Joules cancels out, and then we have uh, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd ions, and then one mole of ions on the bottom. So number of ions cancels out moles of ions, and then we calculate that. We get 288. So 200, so delta is equal to 288 kilojoules per mole. So that is the crystal field splitting energy for this complex ion. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a lot. Thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, put a comment in the comment section, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.